اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to talk about how to write an engaging research paper or thesis introduction using ChatGPT. Now before I move on there has been a lot of discussion that should we use ChatGPT for our write-ups. Now previously there have been an opinion that we shouldn't use but now the opinion is slightly changing and we see papers that are using ChatGPT as an author. Now my take is slightly different here. I would encourage people not to use it unless or until they know what they are doing. Now how would I know what I am doing? I will only know what I am doing is when I read papers. There is no alternative to reading and there are no shortcuts to research. If you do not know what goes in the paper, how are you going to put it in? If the chat GPT gives you any information, any text and you do not know where to put it, how to put it, what words to use. Now, ChatGPT may give you certain, some words, some phrases that may not be applicable to a research study. So, in that case, you just put it in and the reader, the reviewers will know that you have used some AI tool. Now, in order to make better use of it, and I've been talking about it since my first video on ChatGPT, that you cannot make use of it unless or until you understand the process unless or until you understand the research process, you understand what goes in a research paper or thesis. Now, you cannot use it for writing if you do not know how a research paper is written. So, you first take your time, read research papers, see what goes in, see how they are written and only then use these tools. Otherwise, you are going to mess everything up. And your reviewers and readers with all their experience will know that you have used an AI tool. The reason I make these videos is that people are using it. Now, I want students and scholars to use them efficiently and effectively, but not at the expense of their learning. Now, we are going to use ChatGPT to understand how to write a research introduction. Now, when I am writing a research introduction, normally my focus is on four or five things. In this case, I've just focused on four. So I start with the value or importance of the topic. Now, in order to find out more about how to write a research introduction, there is a complete playlist and that will be shared in the description as well. And the second ingredient for a research introduction is identification of limitations and gaps in existing research. The third, one of the most important is the theory to assess the relationships in the study. So what relationships am I testing and what theory I'm going to use to explain those relationships. And finally, one of the most important is study contributions. What are the contributions of your study? Now, how will I use this ChatGPT tool to write this particular introduction? Now, again, remember ChatGPT has got issues with the references, so it, the references that are provided may not be correct. So you have to go back to the databases as Google Scholar or any database that you use or any other software that you use with papers in it to extract the relevant reference for that text. Now, again, you will not know whether that reference, that text is applicable or not if you haven't read any papers in your area. So I'm going to do an example one by one. So here is ChatGPT and let's give ChatGPT the text. Now it's all in the prompts. Remember that your prompts have to be very concise, clear and complete. Now in this case, let's say my research title is Impact of Servant Leadership on Project Success with Mediating Role of Entrepreneurial Leadership. I'm in process of writing the introduction. Can you provide me with value importance of servant leadership in shaping project success in light of the references in text and full references in the end list, in the end as a list. So this is the detailed prompt. And since I'm just writing or planning to write the first part of my research introduction, that is value or importance of the topic. This is the prompt I'm going to provide chat GPT with press enter. Now here is the sample introduction for my topic. Now again, the problem is old references. Look at this. Well, this is seminal work, so applicable. Quite old, quite old, quite old, old. 
Now, first problem, if you just copy it, the issue is that the references are not new. They are quite old, so you cannot use them. In the introduction, when explaining the value of something, you have to explain that it is current. Now, how would I know or how would anybody know if they haven't read this or if they haven't read any research, they haven't read any research paper and they do not understand the process of research. Now, this is the negative downside of using these AI tools. You do not know how the research introduction will be written. Now, these are the references in the end list. But still, this is very applicable. You can read it, try to make sense out of it. But if you do not understand the concept of mediation, you do not understand the concept of direct relationships, you do not understand the concept of servant leadership, all these topics, you do not understand the process of writing an introduction, this is of no use to you. Moving on, let's get the second prompt. The second thing is limitations, gaps in existing research. Here it is. My research title is this. I'm in process of writing introduction. Can you provide me with the gaps related to the topic and how do I formally write the gaps? Now, the reason that this chat GPT or AI tool can be useful is how to write. Now, how to structure your sentences. So you are like, if you're not uh, an English speaking person, and now English is not your native language and you struggle with English sometimes, just as I do or you struggle with grammar, use ChatGPT. So let's press enter and see what we get. So it can help you with presentation of your gaps, how to write them effectively and efficiently. Now you've got gaps, but you do not know how to write them. Use ChatGPT. Here it is, here are the gaps. Now, again, if one does not know that we do not write gaps in the form of bullet points or headings, then you will just copy it and paste it and again the reviewers will know so do it use it but first know how to write them so i know that gaps are not written in this format but i will use these phrases this text in order to better present my gaps now again there are no references obviously you could have asked ChatGPT to provide the references in the text and in the end list now once the gaps are mentioned the next thing is theory to assess the relationships. Now, how do I write the prompt for this? Here it is. So I have provided the title, some detail and the relationships that I'm testing. And I want ChatGPT to give me the theories to explain these relationships. Each of the following relationship. And let's see what we get. Now to assess the impact of servant leadership on entrepreneurial orientation, we can have social exchange theory will make sense. RBV for entrepreneurial orientation and project success makes sense. Leadership and project success, transformational leadership theory. Well, I would have still gone for resource based to instead of the leadership theory itself. Now again, you will have to see which theory is actually applicable and which one is not applicable in this case. So this is how you can get theory out of ChatGPT. And finally, the study contributions. So how do I get the study contributions or sample of study contributions? Now here it is. Let me put this prompt here again. Two things remain same. And can you provide me a sample? Can you provide a sample of study contributions, including theoretical contribution for my study, considering the following relationship? Now, number one is this, number two is this, and number three is this. Let's see what we get. Now, here it is. For this relationship, this is the contribution. For this, this is the contribution. And obviously, we do not write the contributions like this. We write the contributions in the form of a paragraph. Now, this is too textual, too much text in here. But still, read it and see how you should write your contribution. Now, the study contributes to the existing body of literature by integrating concepts of servant leadership, entrepreneurial orientation, and project success. By examining the relationship between these variables, this research offers a comprehensive framework that incorporates leadership behaviors, 
entrepreneurial mindset and project outcomes. The theoretical contribution lies in bridging the gaps between these domains, providing a more holistic understanding of how servant leadership entrepreneurial orientation interact to impact project success. Now, let's change it slightly. Can you add the contributions to the theory in light of each relationship that I have proposed? So, let's see what we get here. So I want the contributions to the theory in light of each relationships. Now, if we come back here, let's see what we've got here. I didn't read it. The contribution of the study lies in examining the relationship between servant leadership and entrepreneurial orientation. Now, there is no contribution to the theory, the social exchange theory that we mentioned earlier. Let's see if we get here. Nothing here. Now, let's say, can you... provide specific contributions to the specific theory proposed to study each of the relationship. Let's see if we get something out of it here because I want to contribute to the theory like how one relationship is contributing to the theory. Let's press enter. Now here it is, contribution to the social exchange theory, contribution to the resource based view and contribution to the transformational leadership theory. So how that particular relationship is contributing to the theory. This is how you write it. Again, it's all in the prompts. If you do not know how to prompt ChatGPT, then you cannot get the results. So you should be able to use different wordings. Now again, how will you use these wordings? How did I know how that I have to ask ChatGPT for something like this? because I have read papers. I know what theoretical contribution means. How I know what relationships mean. I know what's the relationship between the impact of one variable on the other and how it is linked to the study contributions or theoretical contributions. Then only I was able to write this specific prompt. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to use ChatGPT to write an engaging research introduction. And again, there is no alternative to reading. Thank you very much.